So what we're going to do now, now we have our very first table, is we're going to populate it. We're going to add all of this data. So I'll just click on the first cell, not in the headers, but raw A2, and go all the way down to the last cell, and then I'll hold down Shift, and that then highlights from A2 to E8846. So I'm going to populate this, I'm going to copy this into transactions table. But how do I do that? Well, one easy way is to right and click on the transaction table and go to edit top 200 rows. Now it might seem a bit odd that I've asked to edit rows when we want to add rows. But the good thing about edit top 200 rows is that we have a 201st row on this reality, just one row, because we don't have any data, where we can add new data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that, this little bit on the left hand side, right and click and go to paste. I could just use control and V as well. Now you'll see it's starting getting populated and at the bottom you'll see eventually the row numbers go up. So it goes up bit by bit. So this operation will probably take a minute, a minute and a half. So I'm just going to pause the video and wait until all 8,000 rows have been added. Right, so now you can see all 8,846 rows, 45 rows have been added. Now, as we're still in this edit stage, we could, if you wanted to, edit away. So in other words, I could change this from $45 to $46 and back again. Now, how can we retrieve that information? Well, this is the basic essence of this part of the course. Now, first of all, in this video, I'm going to show you a very quick way. And then I'll show you how to do it a bit more properly. If I right and click on this transactions table, I can not just edit the top 200 rows, but I can select the top 1000 rows. And let's just click on edit top 200 rows just to see what happens. So now you can see there are the first 200 rows there. But instead of using this read write capacity to edit top 200 rows, I just want to read the top 1000 rows. So I'll click on this and you can see a new query window opens and here is the first 1000 rows. But hang on, I've got more than 1000, I've got 8845. How can I change this from the top 1000 rows to the top 10,000 rows? Well, that's easy. Just add another zero. And to rerun it, I click on this execute and I can also press F5. So now you can see it's bringing back 8,845 rows. So in these last few videos, what I have done, and what hopefully you have done if you have been following along, is opened up SQL Server Management Studio, created a database, created a table, added data to that table, and now we've retrieved it again. So in the next few videos, we're going to be having a look at this select statement in a bit more detail. The reason for this is that if you want to have any sort of job involving SQL Server, you are going to have to be reasonably competent. You're going to have to know off the top of your head how to be able to construct your very own select statements without using this GUI, G-U-I, this graphical user interface. That's not to say that you can't ever use it, but suppose you were going to a new job and they were going to test how well you can do SQL Server. Well, what often happens is you are asked to just type some SQL code without going into SQL Server Management Studio. You're given a Word document and you say, you've been asked, how do you do this? And you've got to construct your own code. So in the next video, we're going to create our own select query. It's going to be a very basic one, but we're going to build it up bit by bit.